Let's take a look at the electronic enclosures and the benefits we can get with flow simulation. One of the great benefits of flow is the built-in database of materials for components dealing with electrical resistance and thermal resistance. For example, there's a wide array of built-in interface materials to choose from. There's also a wide array of off-the-shelf fans such as Comair or Pabst. There are heat sinks, a huge variety of solids, liquids and gases. There are ways to accurately represent circuit board characteristics, semiconductors using the two resistor component approach. There's even thermoelectric coolers, radiation characteristics, perforated plates, and porous media. So that gives us a very good starting point, and it's just a matter of setting up the conditions in our model. For this enclosure, we're having a fan pulling air over the circuit board. We're really concerned about the potential of overheating, so we've included 10 watts being generated by each processor, as well as heat from the capacitors and transformers. Again, the power of flow is in the amazing ability to look at the results, so let's take a look at some flow trajectories. This really helps us visualize recirculation areas. So you can see, for example, there's a bit of recirculation here, so maybe we can consider shifting position of the vents or components on the board to improve that flow. We'll hide the board geometry so we can look at the temperature results on the components. As you might expect, we have the highest temperatures around the heat sinks, so we're able to look at the thermal aspects of our designs as well as the flow. One of the things we can do when we have flow streamlines is we have the ability to export those to create 3D curves in SolidWorks. So we've done that for one here. And the benefit of that is we can attach a camera to follow that streamline and do a fly through. So you get a real inside view of what's taking place in the design. And this isn't just a static view, we can actually animate the flow results at the same time. So we can quickly go to different positions and understand the flow in those areas. Or you can just interactively drag the camera position if you want to as well. So Flow is very well integrated with our animation tools to aid in gaining a deeper understanding or to convey what's taking place in your design. So that was just a few extra ways you can use Flow to study the performance of electronic enclosures. To see in more detail how Flow Simulation can help you, please contact your reseller or visit SolarWorks.com.